In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to add a marker into a clip. This gives you the opportunity at some point in time of adding a note to yourself, of adding a place where you're going to attach or unattach or end a, a title or a special effect that's tied not to the timing of the entire timeline, but the timing of the clip. Let me show you how this works in a practical way. I'm going to take this clip of part of a parade and drag it down into track one. And now I'm going to press on the space bar and go ahead and move through the clip. And let's assume I want to do something right about here where the flag is curled uh, at this point in time. And where I am, I'm 14 seconds and one frame into the project. But I want to tie this not to the project, but to the timing in the clip. So I'm going to add a marker at this point in time relative to the clip. In order to do that, most of the time the clip marker track is invisible. So I'm going to go over, over here on the left side where my tracks are, right click and click on Show Clip Marker Track. And when I click on that, this symbol appears and I have a new track above uh, track number one and this is my uh, clip marker track so to add a clip at this point in time i simply right click on my scrubber oh i have to highlight it first right click on the scrubber and click on add clip marker and then there's a note here i could say uh, put title here and it's at five seconds, 12 frames into the clip, not into the project. So I'll click on OK. And now I have my little blue upside down teardrop, which is my clip marker. Um, let me go ahead and show you how easy this works. I'm going to take the scrubber and move it to the beginning of the project. But let's go ahead and import another item here. Um, I'm going to import this graphic. It's one we used in another item. I'll take the graphic and I'll drag it down and watch what happens. Automatically I have a, now a blue line that's a snap to line at that point in time. And so I can add that graphic at that moment in time relative to the clip. We'll make it smaller so it doesn't mess with anything here. So now my graphic is tied to that moment in time. I can also do that with a particle. I can do that with a special effect. I can add another marker. I move the scrubber over here uh, and then we can uh, adjust the frame where we want to. Let's keep the just the nose of the horse there into the frame. And let's say I want to do something at this point in time. I right click again, do add clip marker and we could say end special effect here, ECT, and click on OK. Now once I have the clip marker, I can go ahead and highlight it. It will show me what the text is I put in. I can also drag it left or right, um, or I can double click on it and uh, do edit. And I can actually change the time this way if I don't want to use the mouse. So maybe I want it 15 seconds and 18 frames. And I'll click on OK and I just adjusted that. But again, when it comes to this item here, I can go to my title room and drag down my default title. And it'll snap to that line. I'll move my scrubber to prove it's not tied to the scrubber. I'm if I move this over here, there it, so you see it clicks on that blue line tied to the blue teardrop. And uh, so I can adjust it. So if you're building a complicated product, project or if you're collaborating with somebody else, you can put these cl clip markers into the clips and it will show you things you ought to do or have done or want to do relative to the clip. Now the other nice th feature about this is when I move the clip, the markers move with it. Now the items I've, I've put on separate tracks will not move unless I group them. But here again, this will tie to either this marker or this clip marker. 
and I can take this and I can clip move it here I can add other things so the clip markers are a nice way to begin to structure a more complicated project or even just give yourself reminders of things you want to make sure you do when you get to that moment in time relative to the clip not necessarily relative to the project Thank you.